and leathery wood. So I'm getting leather and influence from the, the cask, obviously. There's some woody notes. It really is just a delightful nose, um, a stunning nose. It's got lots and lots of things going on. It's very complex. Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Whiskey Journey. So today we're going to be looking at another rum. And um, as I said in my previous rum review, I'll be reviewing this one. So this is uh, a bottle from Habitation Valia, bottled in Italy, and it is a Worthy Park 2006, um, bottled at 57.5% non chill filtered natural color. I believe it is an 11 year old, um, fully aged in the tropics. Um, second bottle here on my left is one that I'll be doing in a future review. And this is a Long Pond 17 year old bottled by the um, Whiskey Blues. Right, so um, yeah, this bottle, um, I've had this for some time now and um, I've just let the the dram just sit in the glass and just rest for a bit. Um, Habitation Valier or Valier bottlings I always enjoy and spoiler this one is no exception. <laughs> so we'll just get straight on to the tasting notes shall we so we'll start with the nose first and just see what we get on this one. It's a very rich rich nose, very sweet. There's bananas, some breadiness as well, which gives you a feeling of banana bread. There's some tropical fruits there, so I'm getting some pineapple. Some spice as well, so um, Ginger, definitely. Underneath all that sweetness of the from the tropical fruits, you've also got some savory notes as well. So, um, for this particular bottle, I specifically get olives, briny olives. So I'm getting that on the nose as well. There's some nail varnish there too. And leathery wood. So I'm getting leather and influence from the, the cask, obviously. There's some woody notes. It really is just a delightful nose, um, a stunning nose. It's got lots and lots of things going on. It's very complex. Getting a bit of earth as well. And in the background, some industrial type notes as well. Yeah, that earthiness, that earthiness just sits there as well, just in the background, it's delightful. Right, let's just get onto the taste then, shall we? And see what we get with this one. lovely finish. So quite a lot to pick apart with this one. So initial arrival comes across as comes across apologies as quite soft. 
has a waxiness. It's oily, it's full, it's rich, coats the whole of the mouth. Up front, tropical fruits, banana, pineapple. And then you get, you get all those sweet notes and then explosion flavors basically. And then you get that savory note, olives, brine, varnish, wood, leather. And then just on the finish, you also get, there's a nuttiness that develops, but it's quite sweet, almost like candied nuts. A licorice as well in the finish. Caramel as well. Caramel notes, that could, just, that could just be the candied nuts, but definitely feel that I'm getting caramel as well. Um, mm, it's a long finish as well. Those olives, I just love olives. Um, th that sort of taste you get. Um, briny olives and rum is just one of my good, one of my favorite um, notes to, that I pick up. And I picked that up so much with this one. So it really is, it kind of, um, you kind of think this is going to be all sweet on first arrival, but then those big, big savory notes come with wood tannins at the end as well. I'm picking up woody leather, a little bit bitter, but it is countered by the sweetness from the candied nuts and the banana. It's, it's just a, such an interesting rum, this one. And um, I know that there's a 2005 uh, release from Habitation Villa as long as a 2007. I haven't been fortunate enough to try those other ones. But um, this 2006 is just fine. Absolutely stunning. I have one more nosing. And taste. So again, just bananas, pineapple. Very sweet, but then underneath that, as I said, you get all the olives, um, woodiness and leather. So that playfulness between sweetness and um, savory is just divine, in my opinion. Right, let's have one more sip. Second sub's even better. That finish, incredible. So again, much like the first sip, full, rich, soft, waxy, oily, banana, pineapple, candied nuts. That candied nuts note that I get is just incredible. I just love it. And after that sweet arrival, you left with a blanket of savory, briny olives, and wood, as I said, woodiness, woody tannins, and some leather. And I says it on the finish, there's some licorice there, caramel. It's just so well balanced, this rum, guys. It really, really is. In my opinion, um, it is a classic rum. Um, I have quite a few bottles of rum in my collection, and this one, to me, is, is one of my favorite ones. Um, just because it's so interesting and it's 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 balanced so well as I said you you're not just getting all the sweet notes you're also getting that saviness from the uh, from the, from the from the olive note that I get and the brininess as well it almost feels um, coastal in a way this dram actually 
Um, I definitely get a coastal note coming through. It's almost like seawater. That sort of that sort of um, element to the to this rum. Um, but I'm not going to have a third sip. <laughs> Try and keep the video shorter. Um, would I recommend this rum? Absolutely. Would I buy another bottle? Yes, absolutely. Um, kind of difficult to get these days. Um, not really um, that easily available in from shops. So you kind of need to go on auction if you if you want to acquire this bottle. Um, I wouldn't pay too much for this bottle. Um, I would say between 80 to 100 pounds if you can get it at that. I wouldn't be spending any more than that really um, on it. Um, but, you know, if, take that out of the equation. It's just a st absolutely stunning bowl. Yeah. You can add water if you wish. Um, I've chosen it once again. I generally drink it car strength or its natural strength, but um, I've had I've had water with this before, and um, it goes okay with water, just a few drops, just to kind of open the flavors up slightly. But as I said, it's just stunning rum, and highly highly enjoyable. Okay, okay guys, so that was um, Habitation Villiers 2006 Worthy Park bottled at fairly 57.5 percent and natural filtered natural color. And as I said, I'll be reviewing this Long Pond 17 um, very soon. Okay. All right, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed the review. Um, as always, um, if you uh, you know if you wish, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's always appreciated. Um, but yeah, nothing else to say except have a fantastic day. I'll see you all again soon. Take care. Cheers.